don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand-to-hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sam with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. What do next? I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Let you on board. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Oh god, the captain's gonna love you. Just what I need. Two blowhards. We'll party towards victory. <laughs> Go on then.
I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. Oh, -ho, you do have a point. Really? How flattering. Now, now, no need to be insulting. Hmm. Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. People look at me and say, Petro, Petro. your whole ship is, is a testament of splendor. Are you... Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Three doors between me and my friends. Collected salvage from a demo celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered them into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing, devoid of any such enlightenment. Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. 
I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. Hey, we're not pirates. Except, well, when we really need something for really, really good reasons. Yeah, that does sound a little piratey, doesn't it? I'm afraid not. I'm easy in all things, except my collection. The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Alas, I've held it. I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! We're only doing what we have to. Done! Stand down, everyone! Let the nice pirate pass. You got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it when you're able. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. And you're just dropping it? You know that word uh, When that time's right, I'd appreciate a chat.
The captain's a coward. If it were me, I'd really go a few more rounds. Uh, <laughs> hey there. You done looting yet?
lucky the captain's a coward. If it were me, I'd say we'd go a few more rounds. Come in. Come in. 